thinking about a career in mechanical engineering. It's a pretty awesome field. It really is. It's booming with possibilities and, well, we've got a ton of resources here. Career guides, insights from universities, stuff from professional organizations like, oh, the Institution of Mechanical Engineers, even some advice from Forbes Advisor. You'll know what it takes to really make it by the end of this deep dive. Right, like what kind of cool projects you could work on mm -hmm. and uh, even where in the world your skills will be most wanted. It really is a great time to get into the field. Mechanical engineering is kind of at the core of so much stuff we use every day. Totally. Like, it's way more than just cars. Most people think of that first. Yeah. Indeed.com says it well. Uh, it's about anything with moving parts. I like that. Medical devices, robots, power plants, even, you know, like HVAC systems keeping us comfy right now. Right. It all comes back to mechanical engineering. Crazy to think about. It's wild how much it impacts pretty much every part of our lives in ways we don't even realize. That's true. Yeah. Like, do you think most people think about the mechanical engineering behind those crazy machines they see in sci-fi movies? Probably not, but somebody had to design and build all that. It could be you someday. Exactly. And the specializations within mechanical engineering are super diverse, too. It's almost like uh, choosing your own adventure for your career. Uh, like that. So let's say you're, you know, thinking mechanical engineering sounds pretty cool. What are some of the uh, cool specializations you could get into? Well, if you've always loved space, you know, space travel, aerospace engineering is a natural fit. You could work on spacecraft, satellites, rockets even. Pushing the boundaries, right? Totally. Now, what about all those people who love AI? Robotics engineering, that's a big one right now. Yeah. Duke University, APU, prospects.ac.uk. They all talk about how much demand there is for engineers to, well, to design, build, program robots. For all kinds of stuff, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. So from manufacturing to healthcare, even entertainment, robots are kind of everywhere. And mechanical engineers are at the front of it all. And of course, we got to talk about cars. Right. The automotive industry. Of course. All those, you know, deer heads and future Elon Musks out there. Automotive engineering is where it's at. You could work on anything from a super sleek sports car to like a cutting edge electric vehicle? Indeed.com and Forbes Advisor say that the whole automotive industry is going through this uh, this huge change, right? Yeah, totally. With electric and autonomous vehicles and all that. Creates so many opportunities for mechanical engineers. Yeah. Especially the ones with specialized knowledge, you know? Okay, so what if you want to use your skills to, like, you know, really make a difference in healthcare? Biomedical engineering could be the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, it combines engineering with medical knowledge to create really cool stuff solutions for diagnosing and treating diseases preventing them all of that prosthetic limbs absolutely artificial organs new medical devices all that stuff it's incredible the work being done by biomedical engineers and uh get this you can even combine engineering with law yeah and become a patent lawyer a patent lawyer apu and prospects.ac.uk they both mention this as a career path yeah it lets you use your technical skills in a different way you know like protecting the rights of inventors yeah and making sure all these new technologies are being used responsibly exactly wow so many options it's pretty wild how diverse this field is you could totally get overwhelmed just trying to choose a specialization. It is a lot, yeah. But that's kind of what makes it so exciting. That's true. There really is a path for everyone with mechanical engineering. Yeah. So let's say you narrowed it down to where you know, start down the path. What does the education go down to? Well, you might not need a math degree right away, mm -hmm. although it's always good for boosting your career later. Right. Forbes advisor points out that a bachelor's is usually the starting point in mechanical engineering, obviously, or, you know, something similar. Like mechanical engineering technology. Ex and it's really important to make sure that program is uh, accredited by ABET. Yeah. Right? yeah, big time. Basically, that lets employers know the program is good, meets the standards, and that you've got a solid foundation in the basics. The fundamentals. Yeah. Indeed.com and the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they both emphasize how important that ABET accreditation is. Especially for finding a job. Definitely. And here's a pro tip from Duke University. Specialize while you're studying. Oh, that's good. If you know you're into robotics or aerospace, find a program that offers certificates in those areas. Gives you an edge when you're job hunting. Definitely. And, you know, even if you're still in high school, you can start preparing. Oh, yeah. For sure. APU suggests uh, taking physics classes, joining a robotics club, 
or even shadowing an engineer, see what it's really like. Those early experiences are so valuable. Yeah, they can make a big difference. Okay, so you've got the education part figured out. Let's talk skills. What will help you thrive as a mechanical engineer? I mean, obviously math and physics are super important. Absolutely. But what else are employers looking for? So you're right, those are non-negotiable, the math and physics. But Forbes Advisor and Prospects.ac.uk, they say there are other skills that are just as important. Okay, interesting. Like creative problem solving, collaboration, and project management. So it's not just about being, you know, like a math genius. No, not at all. You're not just crunching numbers. You're using them to solve real-world problems. Oh, I see. And that takes a lot of creativity and thinking outside the box. So you might be designing, I don't know, a new type of prosthetic limb or a more efficient energy system for a building. Exactly. It's complex stuff. It's challenging. you got to be innovative. And, you know, engineering, it's rarely a solo thing. It's true. You're going to be working closely with other engineers, technicians, clients, you know, all kinds of people. So good communication is important. Absolutely. It's essential. Being able to explain your ideas clearly, both when you're talking and writing, especially, you know, when it's technical stuff. It might not be easy for everyone to understand. Totally. And being a good team player is huge. Listening to other people's ideas and, you know, working together to reach a goal. Now, project management, that's not the first thing that comes to mind when you think engineering. Yeah. But you're going to be juggling deadlines, budgets resources, the whole team. Think of it like conducting an orchestra. Making sure everyone's playing their part. Right, and it all comes together smoothly. And these are all skills you can start working on now, even in school. Oh yeah, for sure. Get involved in group projects, take on leadership roles in clubs, look for any opportunity to practice your communication and your problem solving. It'll pay off big time. So it sounds like to be a successful mechanical engineer, yeah. you need, you know, like, the technical expertise, mm -hmm. but you also need creative thinking and good people skills. You got it. It's dynamic, it's rewarding, lots of variety. You know. So we've got a pretty good idea of the skills you need to be a rock star in the camp. But where can those skills take you? Like, geographically? Well, one of the coolest things about this field is that it's global. You could work anywhere. Pretty much. Your skills are needed everywhere. Tons of industries. The institution of mechanical they actually call mechanical engineering qualifications a passport to global opportunities. Love that. And it's not just, you know, sitting at a desk in an office. Mm. Nope. Yeah. You could be on an oil rig out in the ocean or, you know, working on sustainable energy solutions in the desert. Really? Yeah. You could even be in the Antarctic doing research. That's amazing. And get this. The Institution of Mechanical Engineers says that like 89% of engineers are super happy with their jobs. They love what they do. It makes sense, you know? The work is challenging, it keeps you thinking, and you can really make a difference in people's lives. I see what you mean. Like, imagine designing a system for a skyscraper in Dubai. Right, or bringing electricity to a village that's never had it before, with renewable energy, of course. Those are the kinds of projects that make you feel good. It's more than just the technical stuff, it's the impact. Exactly. And with all this demand for mechanical engineers, you know what that means. Let's talk money. Salaries. Okay, so the truth is, starting salaries are generally pretty good. But it really depends. Depends on what? Location, experience, what industry you're in, you know. That makes sense. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Institution of Mechanical Engineers, Forbes Advisor, Indeed.com, even Southern Cross University, they all talk about this. It can be all over the place. Like the Institution of Mechanical Engineers says new grads in the UK, they can expect to make around 26,536 pounds a year. But here in the US, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they put the median salary for experienced mechanical engineers at over $99,510 a year. Whoa, that's a huge difference. Location definitely matters. It does. And also higher degrees and certifications, those can really boost your earning potential. Makes sense. Yeah. So keep learning. Stay sharp. Exactly. A master's degree or a specialized certification, those can make you stand out. You'll be a more competitive candidate and you could get those higher paying jobs. Investing in your education is always a good idea. Totally. So let's talk future. Is this a career that's going to stick around? From what we've seen, the answer is a big yes. Absolutely. The Bureau of Labor Statistics and Forbes Advisor, they're both predicting that the number of mechanical engineering jobs is going to grow way faster than average over the next few years. Why is that? Automation and innovation, all this new tech. So 
as tech keeps changing, we're going to need more and more skilled engineers. Exactly. The Institution of Mechanical Engineers, they actually say there's already a shortage of qualified engineers. So that means more choices for people entering the field. And probably higher salaries, too. Could be. Choosing mechanical engineering means you're setting yourself up for a future-proof career. It's bright, it's long-term, you know, you're good to go. It's good to hear that. So mechanical engineering, it's not just interesting and rewarding, it's also secure. Job security is important. Absolutely, but it's more than that. You're a part of something that's always changing, always innovating, and it's making a real difference. Okay, so let's say you've decided you're going to do this mechanical engineering thing. How do you, like, level up? How do you stay ahead of the curve? Professional organizations. Oh, okay. They are fantastic for anyone who's serious about this career. I mean, it's more than just networking, right? Yeah, it's way more. They have a ton of resources and benefits. Like what? Well, there's ASME, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. ASHRA, if you're into sustainability and building systems. SAE International for mobility solutions. And even STLE for people who are... Uh, well, interested in lubrication. That's a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a whole field. So joining these organizations can connect you with mentors, people who can guide you. You can get access to all kinds of publications, conferences. You can stay up to date on everything. You won't fall behind. And they offer certifications, which look really good on a resume. It makes you more appealing to employers. Totally. So they're valuable at every stage of your career. Student, professional, you know, it doesn't matter. And, I mean, besides all the practical stuff, you get this sense of community. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's like a built-in support system. You're connected to other people who get it, who love mechanical engineering. That's right. You can ask for advice, collaborate, even just geek out about the latest tech together. So a mechanical engineering career, it's not just about the technical skills. It's about being creative, being a good problem solver, and having a real impact. Couldn't have said it better myself. Remember those crazy machines from the sci-fi movies we were talking about? Yeah. You could be the one designing them. It's about pushing the limits and making those what ifs real. Yes. Oh. And then using your skills to make it happen. Which brings us to a big question. Oh, fuck. If you could invent anything, anything at all to solve a global problem, what would it be? That's what sets the best engineers apart. Right? Totally. No, thinking ahead. It's not just about knowing how to do it. It's about figuring out what needs to be done, what problems need solutions. What can we invent? How can we make the world better? Think big. Yeah. In mechanical engineering, big ideas can become real. They can change the world. We've only just scratched the surface here, but hopefully this has given you a starting point, you know? Something to think about. And some inspiration. So now it's your turn. Explore what interests you. Dive into those resources from professional organizations. Take charge. It's up to you now. With passion, drive, and the power of engineering, there's no limit to what you can achieve. So what really caught your attention today? What got you thinking? Was it the all the different career paths? The cool tech, the chance to really make a difference. Whatever it is, hold on to that excitement. <laughs> Let it fuel your journey into this awesome world of mechanical engineering. And remember, this field is always changing, so never stop learning. Keep asking questions, keep pushing yourself, and never stop exploring. You never know. Maybe someday we'll be talking about your invention on this show. That would be awesome. Speaking of evolving tech, we got to talk tools. Like, what are mechanical engineers actually using these days? Yeah, it's not all wrenches and hammers anymore. I mean, those are still important, right? Oh, for sure. But there's so much more. It's like uh, having a virtual lab right there on your computer. Indeed.com was talking about those computer-aided engineering programs. Yeah. CAD software, you know, for those 3D models. Exactly. And uh, PLM tools for running simulations and stuff. You can test out your designs before you even build anything. It's crazy how much tech has changed things for mechanical engineers. It really is. Yeah. And speaking of changing things, we can't forget about automation. It's a big one. It is. Mm. The Bureau of Labor Statistics and Forbes Advisor... They're both saying it's one of the biggest things driving growth in the field. It's creating all these new challenges, though, and, and opportunities. It's a double-edged sword, I guess. Kind of, yeah. Like, on one hand, automation could replace some jobs. That's true. But then on the other hand, it's creating all these new jobs. We need people who can design and build and maintain these systems. So what's the takeaway? Never stop learning. Be adaptable. Stay curious about new tech new specializations, and figure out how your skills can contribute to all this change. So to wrap things up, if you want a career that's challenging, rewarding, and you know full of potential, mechanical engineering might be it. You can really make a difference. And remember, 
a thousand inventions, they all start with one step. Yeah. So take that step, explore what you love, and who knows, maybe you'll be the one designing the next big thing. We'll be here rooting for you. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into the world of mechanical engineering. And until next time, keep those engineering minds working.